Hi guys, Dr. Allison here with Body Motion Physical Therapy. I thought it would be a fun experiment to put out to you guys what a pelvic floor assessment looks like. Um, and so Dr. Riley is going to do a pelvic floor assessment on me and I'm just going to, we're going to video this so you guys can see what a treatment session looks like. Okay. So when Dr. Riley goes to do this, she's going to have me take my pants and underwear off. I'm going to lay on my treatment table here um, and I'll be draped with the sheet over me. So you'll see what that looks like. Um, she is going to look for the ability of me to be able to contract, relax, and bulge my pelvic floor, okay? And then she's going to insert a finger into the vagina and check these different layers of muscles. She might check my contraction. She might check my, um, she's going to check my tone. We'll kind of talk through what this is going to look like and what she's looking for. Um, so yeah, and um, if you have questions, of course, drop them in the comments or email us. This is going to be my actual treatment session because Dr. Riley is my pelvic floor physical therapist. So she, this will be more specific to me, um, but it's really just a good idea and a barometer for what this looks like um, for when you come in for your session. Um, so I'm going to undress privately here and then I'll hop on the table and I'll be right back for you guys. This is funny. Um, great. So I'm gonna lay down here. Excellent. We don't usually make our patients wear face shields. Hi guys. <laughs> we have Dr. Riley here. I'm just grabbing some gloves and some lubricant here to get started. Dr. Allison, do you want me to move the sun out of your eyes? Is it okay? I'm actually loving it right okay, now. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Soak it up while you can. Exactly. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get Dr. Allison all comfy here. If you would lift up your left leg for me, I'm going to put the bolster underneath. You can relax the left leg there. Wonderful. And if you could shift your hips just to the side of the table. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have you bend this leg up. Beautiful. Okay. Great. I'm trying to stay yes. straight for this. <laughs> yes. The camera. Right. Okay. Good. All right. I'm gonna do some nice breathing yes. here. Good deep breathing into the belly. Put my gloves on. Beautiful, beautiful breathing. Okay, Dr. Allison, so before we do the internal um, assessment of the pelvic floor, I'm just gonna check externally. Okay, is that all right? Yep. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna lift the sheet. Okay, and then I'm gonna ask you if you could do what you think a Kegel is, or a contraction. Great, and then relax for me. I got my inner thighs going. Yes, there. I know. Okay. Try to relax. Let me try, try to relax again. whole body. Okay. And do a kegel for me. Good. And relax. Awesome. And then if you could bear down or fart, and that's totally okay if you do, because that's what I'm asking you to do. Good. And relax. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. So to start here, I'm gonna to come to the first layer of your pelvic floor. You're gonna feel me spread your labia and insert my finger. It might be a little chilly just because the lubricant's a little cold, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're gonna feel me spread here. Just focus on your breathing, okay? And I'm just doing that first layer. Good. Good. Let me drape you here. Good. I want you to totally relax your whole body. I'll take your leg for you. Good, thank you. Mm -hmm. One important thing that you guys should know, and you know, as I'm the patient here, um, Dr. Riley is my therapist, so she's treated me many, many times. But one of the things we always say is, we say if at any point you are uncomfortable or you just feel like stopping for the day, we just, we stop, we can end it wherever you want. Um, you know, some days you're, you might not be up for pelvic floor treatment, and that's totally okay. 
Or are you sleeping something. with this muscle? Yeah. yeah. So I'm having some definite burning here. Okay. And but it's almost like a relief as well. Okay, great. Let me know when that um, feeling starts to fade. Okay. It's definitely faded. Wonderful. Okay. Keep that nice breathing going. I'm gonna move my finger and assess another one of you muscles over here. Good. What are you feeling here with this muscle? Definitely. Tenderness. Okay. <laughs> and please let me know if I need to let up on my pressure at all. Okay. I'll take your leg, just completely relax. Okay. The last after the last session, I um when you treated this side when I when I was having that like it was burning during mm -hmm. the session, it um I definitely had soreness right through the labia the really? next day, but okay. it felt like orgasm was better, oh, sex good. was better, so it was like everything, it was definitely helpful. Oh, just releasing some of the tension in the tissue, that's good. Yeah, good. Has this guy faded at all, the burning? Yeah, completely gone. Oh, wonderful. I'm just gonna move up here. Suck this guy, how are you doing up here? Good, that's all. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, feel okay? Feels good. Awesome. Yeah, that's referring for me across, like, up to kind of my right hip a bit. Okay. Okay. And my pubic bone. Okay. So Dr. Riley's finding tender spots. She might find trigger points or adhesions throughout my pelvic floor and she'll hold them and let them release. You might be thinking, well, you're a pelvic floor physical therapist, isn't your pelvic, pelvic floor perfect? <laughs> it's definitely not. I have had two kids, and I actually had a pelvic organ prolapse before I had kids. And what that means is my bladder is a bit descended. So sometimes, even though I do the exercises, sometimes I get off my exercise routine, Sometimes I increase my intensity in what I'm doing in my life. Sometimes my weight fluctuates. This all affects my prolapse and my symptoms that I get with my prolapse, which can be um, discomfort with deep thrusting in intercourse and with in sometimes I'll get occasional incontinence when my symptoms of my prolapse are increased or I'll feel pressure. And so I have to get tune-ups of my pelvic floor just so I, I feel better and you can treat yourself, but it never really <laughs> it never really works the same as when someone else is identifying the issues and mm -hmm. helping you work through these trigger points and adhesions. Um, my babies are five and three, and so my scar tissue has resolved pretty much. You don't really feel much scar mm -hmm. tissue. Not too much scar tissue. Um, yeah, but it's just still like balancing the muscle tissue and all that good stuff. Thank you, Dr. Allison, I'm going to come to the second layer of your pelvic floor. Is that still recording? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. You can see the numbers going? Yes. Okay. Great. Yes. Okay, so take a deep breath for me here. I'm just going to come to the second layer. Okay. Good. Apply a little pressure downwards. You let me know what you're feeling. I don't feel anything there. Okay, great. Okay, right there. Feel right like there? Yeah. Okay. Let me know when that starts to fade. Just focus on your nice deep breathing into the belly. Try and relax. Do full body scan. Where are you right there? I'm on deep transverse perineal. And it, it's hard to identify even as I lay here what specific muscles <laughs> are being palpated and released. So that's funny. I definitely thought you were in third layer. Oh, yeah. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. But now I can kind of, now that you said that, I'm like, okay, I'm there. <laughs> yeah, I'm hard to feel it on myself. Yeah. I 
make them any better. Um, yeah, yeah, completely got it. Okay, wonderful. So I'm going to insert a little further here and I'm gonna go into the third layer. So I really want you to focus on that nice belly breathing. Can you feel me open there? Yes, okay. that was good. good. It's keep, hard. It is so hard. Try to keep that opening going. Good, on that inhale, kind of bring your attention down to your pelvic floor and see if you can open your pelvic floor as well. Getting good blood flow to the tissues and the muscles here so I can so I can get at them. Good. Okay, I'm right on your coccygeus muscle. How's that guy feeling? It's crazy. That it's pulling on my bladder. Is it? Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, I'm just gonna hang out. You just keep breathing. Good. Unclench your whole body. <laughs> Relax your butt. <laughs> Relax your inner thighs. Good. Good. Good relaxation. giving me for sure definite urgency like it makes me feel like I have to go pee okay. right now even okay. though I just emptied yeah. my bladder before this yeah so these these are these can be common referral patterns for which people which patients are um, you know anyone can be experiencing so that's why a lot of like urge incontinence so if you have, always have to go to the bathroom or you go more frequently than like eight to ten times a day um, and oh my goodness, it's so no. but it's in a, a good way. Okay. Like it's not painful. It's just that urge. It's, it's reproducing that mm -hmm. symptom. How are you doing? Good. I'm kind of like going up to my ovary as well. Okay. Can you focus on your on your hips for a minute? How are you doing? Are you getting any sense of heat or burning sensation? Uh, no, no. Okay. The reason Dr. Riley asked that is because. When you start to release the fascia um, on more of a fascial layer of the pelvic floor, um, which is just like a fancy word for a sheet that covers your pelvic organs and covers the muscles, um, when you release that, sometimes that can give you a burning sensation, or it can even we can feel heat when we release certain areas and hold for a substantial amount of time. So that's the fascia letting go and restructuring. I'm taking this one to another muscle over here. So keep that belly breathing going. Okay, how's that guy right there? Tender. Tender? Okay. Really tender. I'm just going to hang out. You focus on your breathing and bringing air down into that pelvis. Good, relaxing your pelvic floor. I don't know why this side is so... <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, what am I doing? <laughs> Your sensations um, faded at all? Yes, yes. They okay. just kind of like go. Oh, wonderful. Good. Okay, keep moving. Moving over to another muscle here. Applying a little bit of pressure. How are you doing with that guy? Um, it's intense, okay. but it's, it's good. Okay. Any referral pain elsewhere? Um, I can't, I 
don't even know where you are, and I can't tell you where it's going. Okay. Yes. I am right on Peebles Hospitius. It's definitely tender. Okay. Even as a patient, we ask these things and it's it's hard to explain often, you know, what you're feeling. You can feel things releasing and things moving. Mm -hmm. um, and that part is relieving. Um, but sometimes when it's like pulling from different areas, it's really hard to like tell what where in your body it's pulling from. And that's okay, that's why we ask a lot of questions and try and differentiate. And the reason we ask is because it helps guide us in where we need to treat and where we need to focus in order to help balance the pelvic floor, balance the tissue. So uh, the goal being that you can have improved coordination, improved pelvic health, and improved core strength. So once you get the coordination, then the piece of the puzzle is to like add strength onto that. And it's not, we're not just talking Kegels, we're talking like in the form of squats, in the form of jumps, in the form of running, in the form of other things, but having your pelvic floor be coordinated, I'm saying coordinated so it contracts, relaxes, and bulges um, for many activities, because that's, that's what a healthy pelvic floor should be doing for you. Is this plectated in tenderness? Yeah, okay. and then I got going on my soapbox, so I, I <laughs> fell okay. off my... Yeah. So okay. focus on, Hop back on the doing. breathing. Okay, here we go. Okay, how's this guy right here? Um, it's not as bad. Okay, great. Where are you guys? Do you want to tell us? Okay. That's more like a three. Okay. Is that a word? No, it works. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Look, three. breathing. And then the last muscle I'm going to check over here is one that attaches to the outside of your hip. So you're going to feel me kind of turn my hand here and I want you to really focus on that breathing, trying to relax the pelvic floor. Good. It's a muscle that sits up on the wall of your pelvic floor. Good. Okay. And to check that I'm on it, if you could push out into my hand out here. Oh gosh, yeah, good. Is it okay right there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll just hang out. You just work on your breathing. I swear the last time you checked my operator, it wasn't this sore. Yeah, I know. Have you been overusing this right side a little bit? Absolutely. This is pulling on my bladder so oh, much. Really? Okay. And that was the same with that hospitius muscle. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I increased my walking quite a bit. Okay. I haven't the last few days, but maybe that's why yeah. I'm just getting like way more. And you also haven't treated me since I was in my that little fender bender. True. That's so, a point. It's been a little bit. Yeah. How's that, Scott? How's it doing? It's pulling all the oh, way. Okay. Right up to the front. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and do it. Yes. Good. Just a reminder to unclench your butt, relax your legs, relax your whole body. Check another point on the same muscle. Is that guy just as tender? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me know if I need to back off on my. No, it's it pressure. should. Okay. That one's less bladder referral, but okay. still like really tender. Okay. Let me know when the 
hands and feet. Feel that opening on your pelvic floor when you did that nice inhale. Good. Yes. Okay. Good. I can feel it melting under my finger. And while I'm in this layer, I'm going to ask you to do um, to do a Kegel again, to do what you think a Kegel is, or a contraction of your pelvic floor for me. Wonderful. That was a great lift. And then relax for me. Can you feel my bladder coming up? Yes. Okay. Yes. And then if you could bear down or push out like you're going to pass gas. Great. Good, and that was wonderful that I like that you tried to coordinate that um, at the end of your inhale into your exhale. That was great. I'm going to do one that's independent of my breath here. Okay. Yeah, I feel that much more personally. You feel it more when, when I'm not at the top of my inhale. Interesting. So I need to practice that. Okay. Yeah. And so a good time for me to practice that will be with my bowel movement. That's a great time to practice. Oh, cool. Okay. Cool. Okay, wonderful. So I'm gonna have you take one nice big belly breath in for me. Good, and then a nice relaxation. Good, and then another inhale, and on the exhale, I'm gonna exit, okay? Wonderful. Great job. How are you feeling? All right, good, good. So now Dr. Riley would switch to the other side where we would switch to the other side, check the other side. But that is what a pelvic floor assessment looks like here at Body Motion Physical Therapy. Um, occasionally we're checking for different things and different sensations. So our words change um, and the feedback from patients changes. I tried to give you guys some of exactly what I was feeling. So um, everyone's gonna have a different experience with that. But I hope this was helpful and I hope this helped give you guys some some insight into what it looks like to have a pelvic floor exam. And thanks for tuning in, even though we are fully masked and <laughs> we distance from each other. All right, take care, guys. <laughs>